If you want to film yourself demoing something on your computer, but you also want to include yourself and your voice, then the easiest way to do that is with Zoom. And I'm going to show you how in this video. A screen recording, a screen recording of a screen recording. Let's do this. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Zoom and open it into a different meeting. And you can see here my camera settings have, have like a blur background and everything. And I can do that. So if I click here, it allows me to blur or unblur my background. So depending on what you want for that. I also, um, there's one setting that I like. And if you go to video settings, it's here. It's touch up my appearance. So you can see if I don't touch up my appearance, it's just not as flattering and I can see fine lines a little bit more. If I press touch up my appearance, I can actually like make it maybe half of it. There we go. It's just gonna make you feel more confident. If you don't mind, don't worry about it. It's just something that I like to do. You can also mirror your video. So that's just going to show you the original and then the mirror video. Personally, I prefer the mirror video. So if you wanna use that. And then to actually record yourself in your screen, you can record yourself um, like this full screen without sharing anything. And when you do this, you're gonna appear big on screen. So if say for example, I wanna introduce whatever I'm talking about. So I wanna record, I'm gonna press record down here. And it's gonna give me two options. It's going to give me the option of record to this computer or record to the cloud. And I suggest using record to this computer unless you're gonna be sharing it with somebody remotely. That way you're gonna be able to save the extra step of having to upload it online. But personally, I feel that recording to this computer is better because I've had really bad issues with trying to record with the internet because what it's doing when it's recording to cloud, it's taking up extra internet space. So if your internet isn't fast enough, it'll be all choppy and weird. Um, so I strongly suggest if you're going to be editing or if you're just going to be uploading from here, record to this computer. So I'm going to say, it's going to start the recording as soon as you select that. And so say I'm going to introduce my topic right now and then I want to talk about whatever I'm going to talk about. And then here you have the option to either stop or pause. If I stop, that's going to finish this video and that's going to be it. But I can also press pause. And by pressing pause, it allows me to create little breaks within the video. And at the end, it's going to be one giant video so I can share that one video. And so this is a great way of being able to cut and make changes without having to edit your video later. So say now I want to share my screen and show you something on my screen. So I'm going to go to share screen and then I can click on say a specific thing that I have opened. So I could share like, say I want to do my sauna board or my Google, but all that's going to allow me to do is show that specific app. I can also click on um, share with um, my desktop, which that's going to show anything that is currently on. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show you one more thing. So say for example, I want to share with you a video this isn't a good idea example because that one has no recording. So say I want to share my video. So this is a screen recording I did of the video before this. So if I go back to Zoom and I'm going to go share, what it's going to allow me to do here is it's going to allow me to press share sound so and optimize for video clip. So if I want to be able to share the sound of a video when I open the video as well, then I want to make sure that that is selected or I can unselect that if I don't want to share the sound of the video if I'm sharing that too. So I'm going to, for the simplicity of this, I'm just going to select desktop. And I think this is good, especially if you're jumping between platforms and then you press share. Now let me get to, let's say for example, I'm going to be showing you that video. So here's that video. So say I want to share, record me talk like half parts of this video in here. So then what I can do is I can scroll up here to have this come back up and I'm going to go to more and I'm going to do resume recording. recording in progress. And then I can press the video and then I can also, let's say I want to close this video 
And I wanna show you this, cause I'm showing you, here's my workflow. So I actually finished that one. That one's done. And this is the last video. This is my last video that I'm filming. So I'm talking to you about the screen recording. And then let's say I don't wanna share anymore. So let's stop the share. And then I'm gonna appear back on and I could do maybe some more talking about me and then let's share again and let's say we're sharing the desktop again and then we're gonna show you this stuff as I'm show demonstrating. When you're in this view, you're gonna appear wherever this little field is. So like if I move this, so say for example, I am like telling you about this specific thing but the video is in the way, I can just move the video to where I want it to be. And then I can talk about, oh, look at all these videos that I filmed today. And then you can select where you want to appear. But say you want to share your screen and you want your voice to be here, but you don't want to be seen, you can just minimize that. And then that's going to just have not show your camera and then you can make it bigger too once you want to show your camera. Once you're done, let's stop the share and let's actually stop the recording. So once I press stop recording, it's going to stop the entire recording and it's going to make it into a giant video. But once I press stop, I'm not going to see my video clip. I first have to exit out of Zoom and meeting for all. And now it's going to start converting that video recording for me into a video clip. And depending how long it, the video is or how long you're on Zoom, that's how long it's gonna take to convert this. So here you go, that's done. And it's gonna take you right to the folder where you're gonna have an audio version of your video. And now I can share that video. I can use um, Google Drive or I can just upload that right to YouTube and share it with others. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. If you wanna dive deeper, I have an amazing freebie that's gonna transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time, peace.